friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome I'm so glad to have you my name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline you guys are gonna have to excuse like my crazy frizzy hair I don't know what's going on in Texas but it's just like hot and rainy and the humidity she's feeling like Florida y'all she is really feeling like Florida but anyways I just got back from the trip that y'all are about to watch and y'all it takes some twists and turns at the end that I just, I never could have predicted, like not in a million years did I think what happened would happen, which I will explain more of that at the end. But I guess first and foremost, I need to tell you where we're going. So we are going to be working one flight over to Rome once again. Like I, I'm feeling a senior mama summer already. Like I don't, I don't want to call it too early. But y'all, Dallas has two Romes this year. So we have two Romes and two Parises. And um, Rome and Dublin are gonna be staying year round now in Dallas, which is so exciting. This wasn't as much of a dream trip as like this last one, if you guys saw it, because that was just, that was insane. I don't know how I pulled that one off. Like that one was crazy. But anyways, while you guys watch the video, I'm gonna come back at the end to kind of catch you up on things. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be enjoying my nice factor meal here, who I do wanna go ahead and thank for sponsoring today. Today's video factor is my lifeline when I'm traveling but also when I'm at home and I've got a busy day of like editing and things to do factor just simplifies my life which is why I love them so much but if you do not know who factor is let me put you on factor makes meeting your nutrition goals a snap by delivering fresh never frozen dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep factor has a weekly menu with tons of meals to choose from that are all delicious and it's constantly changing which is nice because it always spices things up but it also simplifies my life Life because I don't have to worry about meal planning, grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning, all of that stuff. It's already made simple for me. All I have to do is pop it in that microwave. It takes two minutes. Two minutes, 120 seconds, and I have the most delicious meal right in front of me. So this is the meal that I'm gonna be having today, which is the Southwestern Chicken Mac with roasted corn and tomatoes, which I've already mixed all of mine together. And if you're not a mixer, I apologize, because you're probably like, cat, that looks disgusting. But for me, it's delicious. And it kind of just depends on the mood. Sometimes like I want it mixed, and sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna just keep everything separate. But this one's also crazy, because it has 41 grams of protein. Like, they're not skimping, y'all. And I already know, this one is delicious. Oh, a big old bite. Mmm. It's so creamy and flavorful. Like, it's just insane. I gotta set that down before I get carried away because I will devour that and it's not gonna be a pretty sight. But anyways, if you guys want to join the Factor family like myself, you are in luck because right now, if you head to factor75.com and use code catnesbit 50 you'll get 50% off your first Factor box. Once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm gonna finish this off camera and you guys go ahead and enjoy our trip to Rome and I will see you at the very end. All right, we have officially made it to the Dallas airport. I'm actually here quite a bit early, like quite a bit. Ooh, that AC is blowing in my eyeballs. I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna melt off a lash with my tears. But yeah, I'm quite a bit early because this trip actually signs in during rush hour. And Lord knows I didn't want to get stuck in that. So I came early so I could drop off all of the orders to the cosmetic company and then actually get here. So now it's 425 and sign in isn't until 515. <laughs> 5.15, so uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a, an airport sit. Maybe we'll go um, sneak over to Starbucks. We'll just, we'll just tiptoe on over. We just might meander our way over. But anyways, on this one, I'm actually going to be position eight. So I'm gonna be in the back this time instead of the front. I guess let's go ahead and get our stuff out and go get signed in and go do a little twirl of the airport before we have to go to Rome. Oh, you guys, it is hot as Hades out here. Also, this time I actually brought two bags. So I brought my in-flight bag, but I also brought my cooler bag this time because last time that we were in Rome, we did not go to the grocery store, which you guys know is like one of my favorite things to do. I like seeing like the local food and stuff. So I have a salad in here that I'm gonna have for dinner and then we'll fill it up when we get to Rome. Good morning. 
<laughs> you guys. Um, so I kind of did things differently and it's not really morning, just, just to be clear, it's um, 4.07 in the afternoon. But basically, once we got here, normally I like film and chat with you guys for a bit and then I do what I need to do. But this time I was like, I need to sleep ASAP Rocky. So um, I, <laughs> I didn't film anything outside of, just took like one quick video of the room so you guys could see it and all of her like immaculacy, is that a word? Before I hopped in the bed and messed everything up, the room looks really, really similar to the room that I had last time. The layout's a little bit different, but other than that, it's basically the same thing. But anyways, um, so my plans also kind of changed on on this one as well because i was kind of just wanting to like chill go to the grocery store like hang out a little bit but last minute on our flight the number six called sick so they had to get a standby reserve to come fill that position could you imagine i have never been that lucky not yet not yet. Well, I don't really do standby anymore. I'm kind of senior for that. Half of you is probably stoked and the other half of you is probably so nervous, but the other flight attendant has never been to Rome before. So I was like, okay, what do you want to do? I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Like we're going to have fun today. So I needed to hurry up and get a nap in because we are actually on like the later room because there's two rooms right now. So we didn't even get to this room until about two o'clock. Also, gonna be using this. So I, I really wanna take her out and show her Rome in its full glory. We're probably gonna do a lot of the touristy spots. Somebody who's never been somewhere, I just always wanna be the person that kind of accommodates them and takes them around. So even though I've done a lot of what we're probably gonna do today, I still want it to be like really fun for her. Okay, you guys, I am all ready. Um, so <laughs> my wide lens that I had like on my camera just is not, it's not cooperating. It fell off, I can't get it back on. I'm not even gonna mess with it. So we might be <laughs> <laughs> a little zoomed in today. This is how I used to record all my videos, so I don't think most of you guys have a problem with it. But anyways, Hannah is ready, so I'm gonna go meet her downstairs now, and I guess we're finally gonna get to exploring. So I left the hotel room to go meet up with Hannah downstairs in the hotel lobby, and initially we just decided to wander the streets, and so she could really get a vibe of the city and a feeling. And then the first place that I really wanted to take her was the Trevi Fountain. I just feel like this is one of the most iconic things about Rome, and it's so much fun to throw your coin back and make your little wish. And after that, I ended up taking her over to the Pantheon, which is also very pretty, but they were having a mass service, so we couldn't go inside. But if you are gonna visit the Pantheon, I definitely recommend that you bring a jacket or a shawl, or they're not gonna let you inside with bare shoulders. I learned that a few summers back. And then we went over to a restaurant to have dinner that the Italian speaker had recommended us. And this place is gorgeous. It was so pretty, just like sitting outside and people watching, and it was also very affordable. So we ended up getting an app Aperol spritz. They were okay. They weren't the best. And then I did the lasagna, which I wasn't going to order, but the person next to me had it and it looks so good. And after that, we just explored the city a little bit more, found a live concert. And then we headed towards the Coliseum, which this is actually where pride was going on, which was really cool. So she got to see the Coliseum at night before we went back to the hotel. Good morning, you guys. So I already woke up and brushed my teeth. It was a lot of like going to sleep, waking up, going to sleep, waking up. I'm actually up before my alarm clock now, so I don't know how well rested I'm really gonna feel. <sighs> I'm thinking we're gonna try to get ready really fast, pack everything up, and then go to the supermarket. I'd like to get out in the morning this time because last time I was so exhausted and tired, I just like overslept. So this time I'd actually like to go. But I guess for now, let's go ahead and get all of our little station set up. Okay, so I set my little station up. I got my little little mirror right here that I'm gonna use to get ready. But the other thing is this hotel, like the walls are paper thin. I would not be shocked if somebody can hear me recording right now. Like you can literally hear everything also this hotel i couldn't get well i guess it's more this room not the hotel i couldn't get it to heat up like to save my life it was 
freezing. That's why like I'm in like a full jacket, socks, pants, all of it. Cause I was like, I could not get the room to like warm up. I was on FaceTime with Chip, but I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> it was, it was so bad. But something this hotel does that I love is they have a free breakfast downstairs. And so I always think that's so nice. When, when a hotel does that. So maybe we will wander in there as well and get some breakfast. So this is gonna be the fit check today. Just something casual, cozy. I already messaged Hannah to make sure that she was up. And I think she said that she wanted to meet right now, actually. She just texted right now. So it's just a little bit better because right now it's like 9.20 and our showtime's gonna be 11.15. So if we can knock it out of the way and get back soon enough, then I don't have to worry about like packing or getting ready. So I think we're gonna just do that. I'm going to take my handy dandy bag from Amazon. I've been using this as a purse every time I travel, just in case I go grocery shopping. It's super easy, but also I can just throw my stuff in there. So that's the plan. So I guess let's go ahead and head out and see what Italy's got for us this morning. back to the room we ended up going over to the grocery store and the rule was you can take anything that you can hold in your hands we didn't want to bring like too much so we're like okay anything in your hands you can bring after that you're done um and then we also did breakfast downstairs so i'm going to show you guys everything i brought and then we need to hurry pack everything up get dressed and get down because i think we have like 40 minutes or so so i didn't get too much this time i got a bag of chips i'm not sure what flavor this is but it looks like it's like some kind of pepper and then I got a thing of pasta. They had fresh pasta, but I just wanted to do the bag. And then I got two things of cheese. So this one is pecorino, and I can smell this one like through the packaging. And then I also did this one, which is like a cheese with like peppers in it. This is like one of my favorite things to get when I'm in Europe. And then I grabbed a pasta sauce. I wasn't sure which one to get, but like me and Hannah both just grabbed, I think the same one because this was the one that like had the least amount. So we figured like most people were buying this one. So that's all I got. And hopefully we'll have some like good pasta once I get back home. Y'all, I messed up. So I brought this like big ice pack. It's actually one of the ones from my factor meals when they deliver it. It's still partially frozen, but partially not. Because I didn't have food in here yesterday, I completely forgot to like actually put this back in the freezer because I only had my salad that I ate on the plane and that was it but I'm gonna go ahead and just put my stuff on there because it's still like super cold like it's still like partially partially frozen so I just put the cheese on that and kind of scooted everything else over so that should be good now catch up to speed, which yes, I did throw some of my hair back because it's just getting frizzier by the minute. I can't control what's happening here. But anyways, we were going to be delayed going home because the plane that was coming in from Dallas actually had weather. And not only did it have weather and a delay, but they were also upgraded. So we originally had worked on the 787-800, which only has eight flight attendants, but they were bringing us a 787-900, which usually has nine flight attendants. So already straight away, we're understaffed, which if you guys have seen any of my London videos, like especially I think this one, which gets like absolutely insane in that video, like insane. Um, it's not fun to fly understaffed. It's a lot of work. And yes, you do get a little bit of extra pay. I think it's like $10 an hour, but it's only for the flight time of the flight you're working that's understaffed. So essentially the flight that we work from Dallas to Rome that was on the 800, we don't get that extra pay. We only get it on the one that's on the way back home. It's nice, but I would say in terms of the extra work you're doing for the extra pay, I don't know that they're so equivalent if I'm being a little bit honest. But anyways, so already we know that the plane is going to be delayed and we also know that we are gonna to have to bust our buns to make up for the fact that we are gonna be short a flight attendant. And you would hope that like all the surprises stop there, but do they ever? 
Not on my trips, they sure don't. Once we get all that done and we're finally like up in the air, we're getting ready to start our service. And you guys, <laughs> already from the jump, this is just where things just hit the fan. So while I'm passing out headphones and pretzels on, down the aisle, I go to the back to get another bag of pretzels to finish out and then suddenly like I just see craziness going on. Everybody's a little bit frantic. There's an entire beverage cart that's like knocked over. I don't have a clue what's going on. And then next thing I know, one of the flight attendants comes up and says, she's burned herself really badly. Oh no. So immediately I'm dropping pretzels. I'm, I'm, I'm in action mode now because you just learn as a flight attendant, especially once you've gone through training, they train you so well that you really don't miss a beat. It's kind of funny how it happens that you immediately go like right into mode and you're like in medical mode and you're like, okay, what are we gonna do? But basically what happened is the galley flight attendant, so like the most important flight attendant in the back for us, so she was pouring the very, very hot coffee into the coffee canister so we can take it and put it onto the cart when we do our first beverage service. Well, as she was pouring it into the canister, we hit turbulence and then the coffee went flying. So hot coffee went everywhere. It went all over her neck and her chest and we're worried about blistering up. Everybody's stepping into action. We immediately are getting burn gel. We're notifying the pilots. We're doing all the things that we're supposed to do. So we're wrapping her in burn gel. We're getting gauze around her. We're calling the, the doctor and the medical professionals on board to come help us, which thank goodness for you guys, for anybody that comes and helps, like you are a saint. She said she was okay, it was blistering up a little bit, but she was fine, she was gonna work through it, which man, when I tell you, I've never wanted to cry so hard on somebody else's behalf. She was a trooper, because she only let her eyes water. There wasn't a single tear that dripped down, and when I tell y'all, I would have been screaming bloody murder, being like, land this thing. <laughs> like, I would have been out. And she just held it together like, that is a woman, y'all. That is a strong woman. But anyways, she was like, no, no. I'm gonna work through this. We're gonna be okay. Like, it's gonna be fine. And I was just shocked. What a trooper. Because again, we're already short staff. We don't have any more flight attendants. She gets right into action and goes back into work mode, which I was so just in awe, just in admiration of her strength because I just don't think it could have been me. And she's immediately working. The doctors and nurses are keeping an eye on her. We're right back into hustle mode, which I think when these things happen though, you also just end up realizing like what a good team of people you're surrounded by. She did end up being okay. It did blister a little bit, but she was fine. Management met the flight. She did end up being good. And by the end of the flight, it actually looked so much better. It was a good flight, but it was a hard flight. It was, that was a rough one. And I wasn't even the hardest for me because I'm not even the one that got burned. But anywho, with that being said, I'm exhausted now. I'm ready to rest. I actually got to get some editing done for you guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Press that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.